Hello everyone. This is one in a series of modules to provide information on the Advanced Clean Fleets regulation. This overview is to provide you with a summary of who is subject to this regulation and a brief overview of the compliance requirements and flexibility options. In this module, I will provide a little background on the Advanced Clean Trucks regulation and will provide a summary of the Advanced Clean Fleets requirements for state and local government fleets high priority fleets and dredge trucks. And finally, I will let you know where you can find more information if you still have questions. In 2020, the California Air Resources Board approved the Advanced Clean Trucks Regulation to make sure there would be enough supply of zero emission vehicles. Starting with the 2024 vehicle model year, manufacturers must sell zero emission vehicles as a percentage of total on-road vehicle sales as shown in the figure on the right. The sales requirements apply to vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating over 8,500 pounds with few exceptions. So basically, anything like a Ford F-250 or heavier is affected. Until 2035, the manufacturers also get partial credit for selling near zero emission vehicles that have a minimum all electric range. An example is a plug-in hybrid vehicle. The Advanced Clean Fleets Regulation builds on the manufacturer's sales requirement and sets a clear end to internal combustion engine sales by requiring 100% zero emission vehicle sales starting in 2036. It also establishes requirements for fleets that are well suited for electrification to begin deploying zero emission vehicles. I will go over each of these categories next. The 100% ZEV sales requirement creates certainty for manufacturers, fleet owners, infrastructure providers, service technicians, and local governments to make the investments needed to make a complete transition to a zero emission transportation future. Now, I will summarize requirements for state and local government fleets. If you manage a California state and local government agency fleet, including city, county, special district and state agencies with vehicles over 8,500 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, then you must report your fleet information by April 1st, 2024 and comply with the ZEV purchase schedule. The ZEV purchase schedule requires 50% of vehicle purchases each year to be zero emission starting in 2024 and then 100% of zero emission vehicle purchases starting in 2027. Small government fleets of 10 or fewer vehicles and those in certain designated counties would start with 100% ZEV purchases beginning in 2027. Starting in April, fleet owners must report all of the information specified in section 2013.2 of the regulation. There are exemptions and extensions to address circumstances beyond a fleet owner's control. Until 2030, you can also elect to switch to the ZEV milestones option that I will summarize in a few minutes. Now, I'll give you information on who are high priority fleets. High priority fleets are entities that operate vehicles with a GVWR greater than 8,500 pounds, including off-road yard tractors in California and meet at least one of the following criteria. They have 50 or more medium and heavy duty vehicles, excluding light duty vehicles under common ownership and control. They have more than $50 million in revenue or they are federal government agencies. Any high priority fleet must also include light duty package and mail delivery vehicles as part of their California fleet. Vehicles excluded from the high priority fleet requirements include school buses, workover rigs, two engine vehicles, and heavy cranes. Now, I will discuss the model year schedule, which is the default compliance requirement for high priority fleets. You must report your existing fleet information into the online truck regulation upload compliance and reporting system, also known as truckers, no later than February 1st, 2024. This initial report establishes the fleet of existing vehicles or legacy trucks that will be in your California fleet. The non-new additions to the California fleet after January 1st, 2024 must be zero emission vehicles. Until 2035, you can add near zero emission vehicles like plug-in hybrid electric vehicles that have a minimum all-electric range. Beginning January 1st, 2025, fleet owners must begin removing their legacy vehicles from their California fleets. The deadline is January 1st of the calendar year 
after the vehicle exceeds 800,000 miles or 18 years from the original engine model year, whichever occurs first. It is never less than 13 years. There are exemptions and extensions to address circumstances beyond a fleet owner's control. You can also elect to switch the ZEV milestones option that I will summarize now. Now, I will go over the details of the ZEV milestone option. The ZEV milestone option is an alternative compliance option available to high priority fleets and state and local government fleets, starting with the vehicle types that are most suitable for electrification. Compliance is based on the percent of ZEVs in the total California fleet from 2025 to 2042. The ZEV milestone option allows the fleet owner to reach the overall ZEV milestone using any combination of vehicle types from the three milestone groups in their fleet. As long as the ZEV milestones are met, fleet owners have considerable flexibility with the rest of their vehicles in the fleet. Fleets can prioritize which vehicles to electrify and can purchase combustion-powered engines if they meet the overall phase-in requirement. Until 2035, NZEVs count the same as ZEVs. Vehicle types are broken into three milestone groups, and each group has a phase-in requirement to eventually reach 100%. Group 1 vehicles are box trucks, vans, two axle buses, yard tractors, and light-duty package delivery vehicles. Group 2 vehicles are work trucks, day cab tractors, and three axle buses have their first requirement in 2027 and reach 100% zero emission in 2039. Finally, Group 3 vehicles representing sleeper cab tractors and specialty vehicles have the first requirement in 2030 and reach 100% zero emission in 2042. You can elect to use this option when you report in truckers. Any motor carrier, broker, person, or entity that hires and directs the operation of fleets in California must ensure that they are compliant with the ACF regulation. A public lookup webpage will be available for fleets similar to what is currently available for the truck and bus regulation. Next is the dredge fleet requirements, which apply to tractors operating at the state's seaports and rail yards. To continue using your existing fleet of internal combustion or legacy dredge trucks, you have to register them into truckers no later than December 31st, 2023. If registered by the deadline, legacy dredge trucks can continue to operate through their minimum useful life. Then beginning January 1st, 2024, only zero emission dredge trucks will be able to register in truckers. All dredge trucks entering seaports and intermodal rail yards would be required to be zero emission by 2035. We'll close this module by letting you know the ACF regulation provides a variety of exemptions and extensions to ensure that fleets stay in compliance if they face circumstances beyond their control, such as delivery delay of purchased vehicles, or if there are no vehicles that can meet the needed duty cycles, or if infrastructure installation is delayed. For a full list of exemptions and extensions, and for more detailed information on each, please go to our ACF webpage and navigate to the fact sheets link. To access additional information about advanced clean fleets, such as fact sheets, reporting, and regulatory documents, and other video modules, please visit the Advanced Clean Fleets webpage. To learn more about deploying ZEVs and available funding, please visit the ZEV Truck Stop webpage. For more information about other regulations, visit the Truck Stop webpage. Thank you for viewing this Advanced Clean Fleets Overview module.